Okay, so a lot of people ask me to do like a tutorial on how I do things. Anyway, I mix my uh, paint with 1% low troll, 1% paint, and 1% water. I add liquid dish detergent to cause the cells. Here I'm just putting paint on randomly. Not really know what I'm doing all the time, but it seems to work out in the end. I'm adding some water right now to help the paint move around. Taking the airbrush and then moving the paint in different directions so I feel it comes out the right way or what I think is going to make a good art piece. Here I'm just using some chameleon glitter. It's super fine. I think it's resin glitter. You get it on Amazon. Sprinkle it on, sprinkle it on all over. It sticks to the paint. When it dries, it gives a nice sparkling effect. As you see here, as you uh, hold it up to the light, changes color. It's pretty cool. I like it. Here I'm using a stencil. It's made out of watercolor paper. I cut with a circle cutter and put some repositional adhesive on the back to stick it to the canvas. Then I'll highlight the planet with white on the front. I'll use black on the back to give it the shadows. I'm using some acrylic white Liquitex paint, a little bit of water, not too much. I'm going to kind of dry brush it and wet brush it onto the canvas in a random galaxy nebula. Everybody's going to be different. Just have fun with it. Art has no rules, so you just do what you want to do. So I'll continue doing this until I feel it kind of looks like something from outer space.
So here I use a little watered down white paint and I'm using a toothbrush to sprinkle the stars on. I love using a toothbrush because it's very accurate where you want to put the paint. You can build it up in one solid area or move it backwards a little bit and spread it out more. It works really well. I like it better than flicking with the brush. To clean it, you just dip it in water, rinse it off, start again. is an airbrush texture stencil. Just Google airbrush texture stencil. They're all different types. I like this one because it has random patterns, kind of like a galaxy. I'm using transparent paint right now to put the pattern down where I think it's needed to make this nebula. I'm airbrushing around the nebula with transparent white, just going with the flow of the nebula right now. Kind of a curved look. This is fluorescent paint createx airbrush paint. It is transparent. Transparent paint gives you that nice glowing effect. You can also do this with a brush by watering it down and glazing. The old masters used to do that back, back in the day. But glazing is the main thing to get that brilliant color and that glowing effect. So right now I'm just kind of randomly spraying pink all over the place where I think it's needed the outsides and I'll come back with a different color and kind of blend it in on the insides just going with the flow some white now
adding different stars with transparent white randomly wherever I think they might be. Try not to think about it too much, just do it. Just have fun with it. This is some Createx Transparent Bright Blue. Bright Blue works really well for outer space. It gives that nice glowing effect. When it mixes with the pink, it makes, makes a nice purple. So I'm spraying it all around, all over the white to give it that glowing effect again. So right here I'm taking some heavy body acrylic white paint and highlighting some of the areas, the center, the top, just randomly going around, touching up and highlighting different areas, just making it fun, making the glowiest point in the center. I don't know if that's a real word though. It's real important to tr have transparent layers so it gives that depth, especially after you clear coat it. You clear coat it, it gives it even more depth with all the transparent layers. Just keep highlighting with the white. Transparent layers, heavy layers, give it that 3D effect. 
touch up the center of the blue stars, give it a glowing effect with the glowing blue in the back and the highlighted white in the front. Randomly place stars all over where you think you need it. Maybe more towards the center, a little bit on the outside. Fill in some space area. So now I'm using the toothbrush again and bringing out some more of those white stars because I glazed over them with some blue and pink. Kind of set the other ones further back. Now I'm doing it again with some bright white. Bring some up to the front. Transparent layers really make a painting pop. So I'm here I am just randomly going along wherever I think it's needed, maybe more towards the center where the brightest spot of the nebula is. this is the finished piece right now but it's never really finished you can come back and work on it again you can clear coat it sign it call it done or just keep going anyway thanks for bearing with me through this video don't forget to like and subscribe thanks again enjoy